गुड इवनिंग द टॉपिक इज हियर चेंज ऑफ एंट्रोपी ऑफ ए गैस एंड यू नो द सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट इज थर्मोडाइनामिक्स ओके दिस टॉपिक यू विल गेट इन द चैप्टर ऑफ सेकेंड लॉफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स और इन फ्यू वीक्स सेकेंड लॉफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स एंड एंट्रोपी ऑफ डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स सो यू विल गेट दैट दिस टॉपिक इन द चैप्टर ऑफ एंट्रोपी ओके सो आफ्टर लर्निंग एंट्रोपी यू कैन गो फॉर दिस टॉपिक so here uh, of course one more thing is there that is uh, uh, we are going to calculate or derive the expressions for change of entropy for closed system okay the gas is not flowing at all so for closed system uh, suppose uh, we are taking only 1 kg of gas mass of gas which is taken for consideration is only 1 kg okay only 1 kg and uh, there are two states state 1 to state 2 initial state is state 1 and the final state is state 2 and the process may be anything it may be a constant pressure process it may be a constant temperature process it may be a constant volume process it may be a polytropic process it may be adiabatic process it may be any process okay so there are uh, there are what Say this is the PV diagram. This is the PV diagram. This is V. This is P. And this is state one. This is state two. Okay, state one, state two. And say this is the process. So at at state one, say the pressure was P one, volume was V one, absolute temperature was T one, and entropy was S one. Okay, and state two. the pressure was p2 volume was v2 temperature was t2 and entropy was s2 right so since it is a closed system so uh we should start from this equation dq is equal to du plus dw but dw is the work done this is what this is not due this is first law of thermodynamics so we are starting with first law of thermodynamics and u is here internal energy d u means change in internal energy so uh the next line here work done is present work done means only pdv work done is present and no other work is there so the next line will be dq is equal to <coughs> d u will be replaced by cvdt this thing is known to you and this is pdv right so now you divide both side of this equation by absolute temperature t so dq divided by t is equal to cvdt by t plus pdv by t this is dv pdv by t okay now this dq by t this is known to you according to the definition of entropy you know that dq by t is nothing but change in entropy that is ds okay and this is what cv dt by t and since you have taken only 1 kg of gas so we know that for 1 kg of gas we can easily write pv is equal to rt which is called equation of state pv is equal to rt therefore p by t this is what p by t this is equal to r by v okay so here p by t will be replaced by r by v right now integration is possible because here this is v and this is dv r is a constant here cv is a constant so next step is integration of course it is definite integration from state 1 to state 2 so from state 1 to state 2 we are integrating here it is cv dt by t and here it is r dv by v integration limits are here s1 to s2 here it is t1 to t2 right and here it is v1 to v2 so what will be the result 
after integration, what you will get? After integration, you will get the first line is S2 minus S1. The second line is what? CV is a constant, so you will get CV ln. ln means log to the base E. Okay. Log to the base E is written as ln. ln T2 by T1. T2 by T1. Okay. And here plus R. Okay. Plus R ln V2 by V1. So this way change of entropy can be calculated. Okay. If temperature has, uh, temperatures are known, if volumes are known, then it, it, using this uh, entropy can be calculated. Again, the same thing can be written in terms of pressure also. Okay. So, uh, so this is the main equation. Okay. The same thing, same equation can be used for other cases also. Say, uh, temperature is not known. Volumes are known and pressures are known. So this temper ratio of temperatures can be replaced by pressures. Okay, using this, using this one, PV is equal to RT. So and then PV by T is a constant. Okay, PV by T is a constant which is equal to R. So for equation state, uh, for equation uh, sorry, for state one and state two, we can write P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2. Okay, can you write this way? Yes, we can write this way. So therefore, uh, this T2 by T1, T1, so here you will get P2 by P1 is there and T1, so V2 by V1. Alright, so in this expression for uh, entropy, here you just replace T2 by T1 by this, P2 by T1 into V2 by V1. Okay, I am doing the same thing here. So, S2 minus S1, S2 minus S1, this is equal to what? CV log, so T2 by T1 will be replaced by this, P2 by P1 into this V2 by V1. Okay. And, R log R log V2 by V1 is there is okay so this uh, the next line will be what CV log CV log P2 by P1 P2 by P1 and here you will get uh, plus CV log V2 by V1 and already there is R log V2 by V1. Okay. I think everything is clearly visible. Uh, yeah. Everything is clearly visible. So, here, if you take log V2 by V1 as common, then you will get in the bracket Cv plus R. And you know this, thing, this relation that Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Therefore, Cv plus R is what? That is equal to nothing but Cp. So, this is equal to Cv log P2 by P1, P2 by P1 plus Cp log V2 by V1. Right? This is Cv log P2 by P1 plus Cp log V2 by V1. So, now we have got change of entropy in terms of pressure and volume only. Here, change of entropy is in terms of T2 and uh, temperature and volume only. Here, pressure and volume, here, temperature and volume. Again, if you want, you can do the same thing, means calculation of change of entropy, you can write in terms of what? Combination sign. PV is there, TV is there, then T and P. So, to do that thing, this V2 by V1 should be replaced by V2 by V1 should be replaced using this equation. So from here what we are getting? V2 by V1, I am writing here, V2 by V1, V2 by V1, this is equal to what? T2 by T1 
is already present. Okay. And here he will write P1 by P2. Okay. You can you see this thing? V2 by V1 is equal to T2 by T1 into P1 and P2. So using that thing, uh, okay, let me write everything here. Okay. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand. So, the main equation was what? This one. Therefore, S2 minus S1, S2 minus S1 is equal to Cv log T2 by T1. Okay? And plus R log uh, V2 by V1. So, V2 by V1 will be replaced by this. Once again, I need to check whether it is right or wrong. V2 by V1, T2 by T1 is already present. Then P1 will be okay. There is no problem at all. So, uh, T2 by T1 into P1 by P2. Right? So, this is what? This is equal to Cv log T2 by T1 plus R log T2 by T1. Right? And P1 by P2 is there. You can write P2 by P1, but with a negative sign. You know this simple mathematics. Minus R log P2 by P1. Right? So, here you are getting Cb plus R. Cb plus R is nothing but Cp. So, this is Cp log T2 by T1 minus R log P2 by P1. Right. So the process is given as constant pressure process, means isobaric process. If the process is isobaric, then P1 and P2 will remain same. Therefore, P2 by P1 that will be equal to 1. So in that case, log of 1 is what? Log of 1 is 0. Therefore, for isobaric process, if the pressure is constant pressure process, constant pressure process is also known as isobaric process. Okay. Okay, so therefore in that case, S2 minus S1 will be simply equal to this P2 by P1, this part will be 0. Because P1 and P2 are same, therefore P2 by P1 is equal to 1 and log of 1 is equal to 0. So this is equal to Cp log P2 by T1. Alright, so this is for what? Constant pressure process. And uh, using this thing, we can uh, say that for constant volume process, means isochoric process. For isochoric process, what will happen? For isochoric process, we know that volume remains constant, means constant volume process. So in that case, V1 and V2 are same. Therefore, the ratio V2 by V1 is 1. Therefore, log of 1 is 0. So this part is 0. Therefore, H2 minus H1 is equal to only this much. So, I am writing here, H2 minus H1, this is equal to Cv log T2 by T1. This is for which process? This is for constant volume process, means isochoric process. Okay. Similarly, for isothermal process, say the process is isothermal. What is the meaning of isothermal process? Isothermal process means constant temperature process. That means temperature will remain constant during the process. So, for constant temperature process, T1 and T2 will remain same. Okay. So this ratio T2 by T1 will be equal to 1, then log of 1 is 0, therefore H2 minus H1 is equal to only this part, R log V2 by V1. Therefore, therefore, for that process, H2 minus S1 is equal to R log V2 by V1. Okay, R log V2 by V1, also you can uh, write this uh, ratio in terms of pressure also. V2 by V1 is equal to how much that is known to you. Okay, V2 by V1 from here, temperature remains constant, so V2 by V1 is equal to P1 by P2. So in terms of P1 and P2 also, you can write the same thing, R log P1 by P2. Am I right? Okay, and uh, one more process is there, that is adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, 
what will be the change of entropy okay for adiabatic process we know that this dq this is equal to zero adiabatic process means reversible adiabatic process we are talking about reversible adiabatic process so for reversible adiabatic process we know that this dq is zero and if the process is not reversible then also dq is equal to zero this is not the way. so dq is equal to zero and we know that uh, ds is equal to dq by t we know that what ds is equal to dq by t since dq is zero therefore ds is zero and ds is zero means s is constant okay s is constant so there will be no change in entropy there will be no change in entropy this is dq by t this is also zero so ds is equal to zero that implies s is a constant okay so this was all about change of entropy of a gas for a closed system okay for all the calculations here 1 kg of mass of gas was taken if mass of gas is mentioned say it is 3 kg or 5 kg or 7.5 kg etc then you need to use that mass also to, uh, to calculate uh, entropy here the entropy it is per unit mass okay it is per unit mass if mass is given then you have to multiply that mass with the entropy to get the uh, to get the actual value okay so i think uh, this would be the end of this video this would be the end of this lecture okay <sighs> at last i should say thank you to all of you for watching this video thank you once again